You know, I want to turn to what's happening in Saudi Arabia. It's been stunning the developments in that country. Officials there reportedly are demanding that Prince Al Walid bin Talal pay six billion dollars for his freedom. This is according mm. to the journal. He was one of you know dozens of princes, businessmen that were arrested in that anti-corruption uh, crackdown last month. I want to get your take on that. The man's worth a little more than 18 billion. They want six billion from him. It looks like he's fighting. What do, what's what's your take on Riyadh right now? Well, reality is that, yes, Prince uh, bin Talal is going to be fighting this because, uh, according to his own arguments, if he accepts to concede any billion dollars, not just seven billion dollars, it means for him, and from his own view, that he is guilty of something. And he doesn't want to, uh, you know, uh, leave the international community thinking that he is responsible for anything. Remember, he is not just a Saudi rich person. He's an international businessman involved in operations around the world. So there will be negotiations between uh, the leadership of Mohammed bin Salman, the crown prince on the one hand, and Prince Walid bin Talal. But this is a very difficult issue, not just because of the money. That's what we can see uh, in terms of media. It's the personalities. He really believed that he should have been the one leading, uh, you know, uh, affairs in Saudi Arabia and not the, the new young prince. Mm. That's interesting. I mean, do you, what kind of leverage, I guess, does the new prince have against him? I mean, this is really erupting into quite a, a, it's a, it's a family war, to be frank. It is a family war, but it's also a campaign to eradicate uh, corruption. That's not easy. Corruption have been there for many, many decades, not just in Saudi, but in many other countries. It's a very difficult enterprise. But at some point, obviously, there will be settlements. This is happening inside the family. And I'm sure that the leadership now of MBS, Mohammed bin Salman, is not going to go that far to create a real civil war among those emirs. So there will be pressures, there will be counter pressures, but eventually there will be negotiations. I want to bring Dominic into this because the, the reason that I think the focus should be so strongly on uh, Talid is because he owns, I mean, Citibank, Disney, Twitter. Uh, he's got major stakes in huge companies. I mean, they, if he were to agree, mm -hmm. admit wrongdoing, he he's essentially would be starting unraveling an empire that would have a direct effect on large corporations here in our country. Well, I, I think I agree with Willie on this one. It, 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 look, he can just come up with the money and pay it down. And others have. Other people that have been arrested mm -hmm. have paid their, their debt and they're off and gone. But this guy's an international businessman. Mm -hmm. He's not looking at just the businesses he's involved in today, but the businesses he wants to be involved in tomorrow. So his reputation is more valuable than the money at this point. In the game. Well, Lee, are you worried about stability in Saudi Arabia? I mean, if things progress not well, this fight continues within the family. Do you, are we worried about Saudi Arabia? Because the Middle East is, at least we've got some stability in Syria and Iraq right now. Could this kind of upset the balance there, do you think? Well, basically, look at it as a tunnel of fire. MBS, Mohammed bin Salman, has decided, along with his supporters, to do a change in Saudi Arabia and look at the trail of changes, including what affects women, what mm -hmm. affects civil society. So he's moving in that direction. This is going to be a very difficult passage, the last passage, which is corruption. If he emerges on the other side, Saudi Arabia will be changing uh, in, in, in a way we have not seen in decades, maybe mm -hmm. since its foundation, and it's worth a try. And you know who's watching? Iran, very mm -hmm. closely. Uh, Absolutely. Walid Ferris, it was great to have you on. Thank you, sir. Thank you.